I'm Uncle Bonehead, and last time on the CentureCast, we set up, did a two-hour video of setting up Superhive on the fly with no knowledge of what I'm doing, and with a little help of a couple of viewers and, and um, the developer himself of Superhive, I got it going in less than two hours, and it's fun, and it's a blast, and I love it. But what do you do with Superhive after you've got it installed? And what can you do with it? We're going to talk about that today. Plus, I've got some other news. And, yeah, let's just do the intro. <laughs> I love that intro. That is so cool watching it over here. And it's just woo, awesome. Love it. I digress. We are, we, I say we, I'm a one man operation here. There's uh, absolutely no reason. I don't, I wish I had more people. I wish I had people underneath me. I wish I had, you know, I wish I had a staff. But I can't have a staff because I can't afford to pay for a staff. So, oh, every time I start recording or go live, <laughs> I start getting tired. I don't get it. I don't know if it's because I just, you know, work a lot and then I get frustrated because I don't have time to set things up the way I want them to and then take a nap and then come back <laughs> but it's just it's frustrating as hell I, I don't get it alright here we go super hive last week we got it installed what do um, we do with it now. So if we go over here to my desktop. Oh, this is my desktop. And we go to Superhive. We installed it on UncleBonehead.xyz. And this is what it looks like. This is, these are my posts on the Hive blockchain. It's, I love it. It is so freaking cool. It's a blast. This is absolutely awesome. Now, to be honest, there would be more uh, social media icons in here. Like Facebook, Instagram, what have you. But I don't do those, so... Screw it. The only one I do is Twitter outside of Hive and YouTube, but YouTube's not an option on here yet. So what can we do? Okay, once we've got our stuff done and we set up our admin and password, we can sign in by going to our domain name slash admin. Now look at all this. This this is so cool. This is your, your Hive balance, your post count, on the blockchain and your rewards for posting. This is always this way. I, I don't think he's done with it yet. Um, get down to number of posts displayed on the home page. You can change that if you want. Um, the API endpoint, you can change the, the, the node you follow or whatever. You can enable cross-posting, where if you cross-post stuff to a another community or whatever. 
I don't do that because I don't want to do that. Um, in a developer mode, if you want to disable optimizations and if he doesn't update on GitHub, it will update this, you know, do a git pull and boom, it'll update. Anyways, anyway, you go over here, you put in your Hive username that goes in the author. Now, if you've got a community and you're using this for a community, like say Loud and Proud or Beats Chain or what have you, you would put that username here and then the title that you want to be displayed at the top and then your tagline. So I'm going to change my tagline. See, if we go over here right now, it'll look like this. It looks like this, Uncle Bonehead, and then if a bonehead can do it. So if I change this to if a bonehead can do it, what's your excuse? And then I hit save. And then I can update this. Ooh, look at that. Change the tag. Change that tagline. Now, if I change this to Uncle Bonehead's plug, Uncle Bonehead's web three blog, save. And then I go back over here and look at it again. Look at that. Now I can also change the theme right here. There are four themes. We've got default, mem minimal, de de default, classic, and Celeste. Check out the minimal. We've already seen, okay, this is the, the default theme. So we're about to switch to the minimal theme, which is this. This actually looks really nice too. It, the only thing I don't like about it, God, look at that bug, is this seems like unless you've got a wide picture, it, it just, like this one's only 300 by 600. If I had made that be a, you know, 1080, it would have went all the way over. But I, you know, be honest, I would rather not use a 1080. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see, you know, the 900 or whatever. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Let's go check out the classic. This is supposed to be like a classic blog, you know, for a writer, which I am not. Oh, and see, it looks like a tabletop. It's got the you know, wood grain, desktop, pictures a little bit smaller, you know, that kind of thing. And then here is Celeste. This is the classy, high-class theme that I call it, the high-class theme, because it looks fancy. I mean, fancy. It looks really good. I love that, that font there. And this, I would like to see this be the, right here, I would like that to be like a dark gray color like this, but maybe just slightly lighter shade than, than, than the, the background, or even, you know, with white text, I think that would look really nice, but, you know, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways oh. so what can we do we can make a post first we can see our wallet let's go to our wallet which is not going to show us because that's probably it right there social and SEO this is Description, personal blog made with Superhive, then the image, and then your Twitter account there, your Facebook there, your Instagram account, and then LinkedIn. I don't want to put my LinkedIn up there because, you know, I don't go on it. This is where you can create pages that are not on the blockchain, 
And this is where you can create posts. You can create a new post on the blockchain. See, these are all my previous posts. If I want to edit one, oh, I could just, you know, click on one and then edit it. To create a post, click on create a new post, make the title, throw an image in here, and then write your post, throw some tags in there, and then hit create. Voila, bada boom bing, boom boom boom. Hey, now who? I see you're you in the chat there. Sorry, I didn't respond faster. I don't know when you, how long ago you said that. Hi, now who? <laughs> I should probably put that chat over here on this so I can see what's going on. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> But anyways, I digress. This is go to your pages, and then you can you know click create new page. I have not got this to work yet, and I don't know why or what I'm doing wrong. So let's do a test page. He may not have this fixed yet or what have you, but if you want to put an image there, I can do some. Lorem Ipsum You know, it's just regular markdown So you can just, you know, use regular markdown Go boom Subheadline And then H3 H4, and type your paragraph out. I, how are you? I'm. Now let's do a quote. I. Fine, and you. Tra-la-la, -la, tra -la, la boom, boom. Hey, hey. Just throw in some, I don't know if you can do a list. There's a bullet point. One, two, three, four. And we can do this one. We can go one, two, three, four. And then we can even do, you know, your usual bold. And your italics. And you can do bold and italics. You know, it, it's your simple markdown. And then you can preview it, you know, side by side. Or you can preview the whole thing. I don't think you can do... Um, I think you have to have a picture, but you can do links, turn that off, turn that off. But then, you know, you got that and then you go create and then I get an error has occurred. So I don't know what that is or why, but if I'm thinking right, it should go Uncle Bonehead XYZ slash test what was it called test page yeah test page dash page and I get a 404 I don't know what that is 
slim routing, slim something to do with the slim uh, display manager. Well, not display manager, but the uh, what you call it? Yeah, I don't know. It's just it, it's frustrating, but it's. It's new. It's new. It's not. I don't expect it to be perfect, and I don't expect anybody to be, think to, that it would be perfect. So, dude, it's it's still, dude. I mean, come on. How freaking awesome is this? You can have your own damn blog, Uncle Bone. Look at the URL, UncleBonehead.xyz. And it's my Hive account. So I can post either on Essency or Peak D or 3Speak and it shows up here. 3Speak. Let me show you the 3Speak. This, this right here. This was posted via 3Speak. And look, there it is. And by the way, if you've got a Hive account and you're on somebody else's website like this, you can upvote and comment on your own on on somebody else's post. That is so freaking awesome. Because you know the only thing is when you, if you're watching something on you know your video you, and you click on it, it's going to take you back to Three Speak to watch it. Me, honestly, I don't mind that because I've got no problem want, you know, allowing people to go to 3Speak to watch a video. But I would expect that when somebody goes to watch a video, it should be embedded and not, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, he, and, you know he's, he's going to, he's working on that because he since he does this, see, if I... If I close, if I, oh, not this. If I minimize this, I can pull up Essency. This is the Essency desktop app. It's called uh, Surfer. And this, this is freaking cool. Because if I go to my profile here on Essency, you can see Wacky Wednesday, 3Speak Beta Chester. If I go to my posts, there's that fa that post, that post from this morning, this post, this post, and then here's the Decenture cast installing Superhive. See that play button? I can play it right here in the Essency desktop app. So why you know all it's all he's gotta do is get the start recording. Oh, yeah, okay. I can get holy cow, I was wearing the same damn shirt. What the hell? And the same hat. Honestly, I did not plan this. I honestly did not plan this. This is really weird. Same shirt. Same hat. About a week or two. Well, this was seven days ago. Yeah, it was exactly a week ago that I installed Super Hive. And I'm wearing the same damn shirt and the same damn hat. So we're going to do the John Olson thing. John G. Olson, John Go, John Go Olson, and wear my hat backwards so you can distinguish me from me last week. <laughs> this is creepy. I did not, honestly, I did not plan on this. This, I just looked at that and said, "Wow, I'm gonna be healthy and munch on a." Twinkie. And, uh, but yeah, I've got other things I wanted to talk about today too. I've been meaning to, to do videos on them and they just, I haven't had the, the time because work, we were, we're over the next three months, we are switching electronic logbook software and to do that, we're going to have to 
uh, move a move our hundred and we've got a hundred and thirty some drivers between the dairy division and the dry van division and the reefer division. We've got a hundred and thirty drivers, a hundred about a hundred and just a couple less trucks than we have of drivers. Plus, we also acquired another trucking company. So that's another 38 drivers on top of that. So we've got up to 160, 170 drivers now. Almost as many trucks. And we're switching over to a new electronic logbook system, which includes a new relay that has to be put in the truck. Um... We've got cameras that are going to go, dash cams that are going to go in the trucks, but uh, they're not, we're not requiring those. We're just making those for the troublemaker drivers, the ones that have problems with running into things. <laughs> and so we've got, we've got uh, some major stuff to do over the next couple of months. And, We've already got, just this last week, we've got 20 of them swapped over. The reason we can't just pull them all in and swap them, like, right now is because in order to do that, we have to shut everybody down and pull everybody in. Um, we can't do that because not everybody lives at the home terminal. We've got couple of guys that live in Florida, a couple of guys that live out west in Iowa and Montana. We've got a couple of guys that live down out in California. And we've got a couple of guys that live in uh, Texas. Probably well, more than a couple. There's like three or four of them that live in Texas. And then everybody else is all up here and in Michigan. And so we got to pull everybody in, have them swing through, and they have to have enough time for, you know, it only takes like half an hour for the training. And then, it you know, it's during that time, hopefully the shop can get them in to plug it in. It's not hard. The hardest part is taking out the old relays because the old Omnitrax relays were a pain in the butt. And they had to, they had to sit on the dash and the driver had to watch lights as they were going down the road to make sure that it was staying connected with this new system, the relay can be installed anywhere and the driver doesn't have to see it. So there's, um, that's freaking awesome. The, the, on the old relays, the driver had to connect their, their tablet, uh, which looks like this to Samsung, uh, something or other seven eight inch tablet but they uh they had to hook to the relay in the bluetooth and the bluetooth on the relays and the the tablets never wanted to work right they always constantly disconnected and gave us a shit ton of uh, faults um sometimes the guys would be sleeping and they have a generator on the truck that would you know keeps the truck warm or cool and uh you know keeps the batteries charged and that thing would fire up and it would kick them into the driving tell the tablet they were driving and you know we'd have to go back and fix it and, and but this new system Geotab, it doesn't connect to the, the tablet doesn't connect to the truck at all. It does it all up in the, on the internet and it's, it's pretty cool. It's just badass. It, the, it syncs up through the GPS coordinates between the relay and the tablet. So it's, it's a freaking bad. Oh, oh, oh it's badass. Anyways. I digress. What was I talking about? 
Okay, so I've been wanting to do this for this this thing for a little while. It's it's always it's been bugging me, and it's not like I'm an expert in it. Um, but here a couple of couple of months back in the three speak Discord, a a user I not going to mention his name mainly because I don't remember it, but uh, he was he had a meltdown in the Discord server for three speak because three speak wasn't curating his content wasn't giving him up votes and <laughs> he you know, he was saying you know that the you know it's, it's quality content you're not giving me any up votes because it's quality content and no i just wanted to say dude what's your definition of quality content because you could, because, okay, literally, this was his content, okay? It was cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool content, okay? But it was literally a high-def camera watching a 3D printer print something. No music. No narration. Nothing, just the camera pointed at the printer printing something out, and you could hear the printer going, me, 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 okay? And he considered that high-quality content. Okay, I'm going to show you some high-quality content that's just as high-quality and, 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 and equal. Do you see my point? That is not high quality content. That's a good quality picture, but that doesn't deserve upvotes from a major user. That's not quality content. That's not even content. It's a video that you want to watch while you're falling asleep. So why get all upset when you're not getting the upvotes? You want good quality content. Talk about what you're printing. Tell us the process. Put some freaking effort into it. That's high quality content. I, I honestly don't understand. I get it. You're a long time user on Hive. You were here in the Steam It days. Great. Yeah, you were a pioneer. I get it. But that doesn't mean that you're going to get huge upvotes for a very boring video. I mean, I don't, I'm not sitting here saying I am the king of high quality content. Go look at my. My my three speak videos, my YouTube videos, all of my podcasts since 2006, none of them are high quality. I don't profound profess them to be high quality, and I'm not going to get pissed off if somebody doesn't vote on them. I could give a rat's ass less if somebody votes on them, honestly, because I'm not here to make. The rewards. I'm here because I want to say what the hell I want to say. I want to cuss like I want to cuss. I want to talk like I want to talk. 
and I don't want any company to come out and say you're canceled. <laughs> so if I don't get up folks, I'm not going to stop my feet and take my 3d printer and go home. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be an ass and I'm not trying to mock the dude. Well, okay. I'm trying to mock the dude, but when you're doing, when you complain about stupid shit like that, you deserve to not get the vote. It could be worse. They could downvote you because they do have a pretty hefty downvote value. But I applaud 3Speak on the fact that they don't downvote content. They're like me. They just kind of scroll on. <laughs> it's, 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 I don't like to downvote people. The only people I downvote is gang stalking because he's a bot and it's a fucking asshole. It's just what it, the question is, what is quality content? Because one person's quality is not somebody else's quality. Like, for me, this video, I'm actually being, it's actually 1920 by 1080 for the first time I've ever done a video. It's full on 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. And it's because of this thing right here that was, you know, thank you, Ron. This is the biggest, baddest, fastest machine I've ever had. And... It's, I gotta clear something out here. I don't know why, but I'm getting extra runs when I've got, uh, uh, OBS running and it shouldn't be getting extra runs. I've, I, I was, I've, last night I had it running, um, uh, didn't have OBS, but I was using Reaper and I used Reaper biggest part of the day yesterday. And not one single X run. And I've got, I've gotten it down to the latency is set at, what do I have the latency set at? Uh, 4.35 milliseconds. So that's kind of nice that it's got that low of latency i mean it, it, i i can't hear any kind of latency on it at all and it, it's anyways i digress this is still the greatest best computer i've ever had i love it i am sitting here thinking about this dude and it's it eats me up every time I see somebody post something like this about how my, co my, my content is quality. My content is quality. No, you're not the one to, to judge whether or not your content is high quality. That would be your viewers or your listeners, your audience. Um, there are so many people that go, go and jump on three speak thinking, Oh, I'll get or hive even. I'll get, I'll get upvoted, you know, left and right, you know, because, you know, this is great. No. <laughs> oh, you won't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Uh, I'm, I'm guilty as just about anybody else about not voting if it's not worth it. And... That's just the way it is. I've got, I saw an update earlier this morning that I want to cover. Uh, I'm going to have to search for it. <laughs> eh, it's not going to come back. Oh, there it is. 
Here's the date come back. Here it is. This was five hours ago as of the recording of this. And it's from our friend Preanarch over in uh, Ukraine. Uh, she's just going over and you know, recalling what her last two weeks is. She's now out of the country, I'm assuming, because I, I did see in one of the Discord servers somebody was working on getting her and her dog out, and apparently she she is out because she's posting now. Uh, it, it, she shows a take, show, you know, got a couple of pictures in there. <sighs> but in this post, she talks about she was in the basement of the apartment building, townhouse, whatever it is, for nine days in the cold. And I'm glad that she's out and the dog's out. And I don't know if the Hive community actually came together and got her out or if there was a couple of people that were involved or what, but... I do know that there was some rather large names, whales, that were working on it. And they got her out, I guess. So this is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, follow her, Preanarch, on Hive. She's on Twitter, YouTube, all that other stuff, too. So, yeah, I'm glad that she got out. That is so totally awesome. But anyways, those are the two things that I really wanted to cover and get caught up on. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else that I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and play the outro. And then I'm going to call the stream quit. Good. Yeah, quit and good. But I'll be right back after I play this outro. So don't go anywhere if you're watching and you want to talk. 